That word of truth can be found in the book of Philippians, uh, chapter 4, uh, verse 6. And this is what the word says to us today. It says, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and suffocation, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the question that comes to mind in this lesson today is, is it possible for a Christian, a believer, not to be anxious, a worried about anything? And the answer is, Yes, it's possible. Because with God, all things are possible. But when you are in the world, or in other words, you are in the natural, of course you will find it difficult not to be anxious not to be worried about certain things that are happening in your life. But what we must understand is that when you are a born again Christian, you have been changed from the old man to the new man. What am I saying? I'm saying that there is a new you that is living on the inside of you. You are a believer now that believes in the Word of God. You have learned how to stand on the Word of Truth. And where can the Word of Truth be found? Right here. Right here in this Bible is the Word of Truth. And God wants you to study his word daily in order that it will renew the old man that used to live in you and allow the new man to be brought about that that new person will now begin to understand that they don't have to be anxious about anything because God says that in everything, in every circumstances, and in every situation by prayer and and petition to God and by thanksgiving continue to let your request be made known to God and when you are constantly in prayer seeking God's blessings over all things that are in your life. Knowing that you are going to be bombarded by thoughts of all sorts each and every day. But what you want to be able to do is to speak clearly the truth of the Word of God 
by learning to study the Word of God. And when you become bombarded with thoughts from the outside world that are trying to enter into your mind, and of course you remember that your mind is fertile soil that God has provided to you for new growth and for the truth to always prevail over the evil spirits that are going to enter in. So when God tells you that do not be anxious a word uh, about anything, he means just that. Because faith and doubt cannot live in the same house at the same time. Either faith is going to survive or doubt is going to survive. But if you are believing on the word of God, you are studying, praying, and meditating on God's Word each and every day. You won't be anxious or worried about anything because you have left the world on the outside and you have allowed the Word of God to live on the inside. And once that takes place, you are now in a position to speak truth to power. And therefore, you do not have to be anxious about anything. Of course, you receive a negative report from your doctor. And you looked at that report and you says, it is bad in terms of what the doctor have brought about. But my faith and trust is in the Lord. So whatever this report is saying, I shall overcome because I am trusting in God because he sent his son Jesus into the world over 2,500 years ago to die for my sins and for yours. And he took my sickness and this illness that this report has brought about to the cross. So I don't have to be anxious about it. I don't have to let that anxiety enter into my physical body and create tensions and nervousness in my system anymore because I am standing on the report of Dr. Jesus. And Dr. Jesus says to me that I am healed by his stripes. So why should I have to worry about whether or not this report is going to be the outcome of my life situation? Dr. Jesus said that I am healed. So I am accepting that. And each and every day of my life, I am getting better and better and better. So no, as a Christian, you do not have to be anxious about anything. 